Hi, welcome once again to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I am Dr. Ghosh, your host, and I'm back again with you with another inspirational story. Friends, as you are aware, the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant was made in 2016. Today, we have about 775 members on Facebook, 120 members on WhatsApp and about 95 members on YouTube on your channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant. It was made with the twin objectives of sharing the best stories of mankind stories of mankind at their very best and sharing daily inspiration with you so that you can put your best foot forward. Could I request those of you who are visiting the first time to please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you'll get an update every time I release an inspirational video on your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Today, the inspirational Indian woman I'm going to speak to you about is Sunita Krishnan. A woman who's been defined by her guts and grit. From time memorial, women have had to overcome huge odds and challenges adversities with their grit and determination. Today, women are leading change for a progressive society. One of these women with a lot of grit and determination is Sunita Krishna, a rape survivor to a savior of trafficked women and rape survivors. Sunita Krishnan was born in Bangalore to Keralite parents who encouraged her to pursue, pursue social studies and social causes which Sunita was very passionate about. When Sunita was raped and she underwent the trauma associated with rape victims. In India, the rape victims face stigma, social ostracization. So uh, they are totally ignored by society in addition to the mental and physical trauma which they already go through. At 5 feet, sorry, at 4 feet and 6 inches, Sunita Krishnan is today among the tallest contemporaries in India who is fighting for trafficked women and raped survivors. A woman with true grit and determination who has overcome multiple odds and founded Prajwala to take care of and rehabilitate trafficked women in India. Her journey began by converting a brothel in Hyderabad in the state of Telangana into a school for the children of trafficked woman. In her determination and vision of saving trafficked women, Sunita has not only received death threats but also has been physically assaulted le leading to loss of her hearing in one year to a large extent. But she perseveres and hold firm to her dream of making a difference to 
trafficked women and rape victims in society. Thanks to Prajwala, which she founded in 1996, today she has managed to save and make a difference to over 9,000 women who have been trafficked or rape victims. Sunita Krishnan, when questioned, says, Half of you will not even accept a rape victim as a domestic help. How do I talk of rehabilitation? She f- feels that, and which is right, that rape victims face an uphill task, especially in our conservative society. She f- co founded Prajwala in 1996 along with brother Jose a Catholic missionary who passed away in 2005. She also co-produced a film with her husband Rajesh called as Touch Driver Ainty, which was on the topic of sexual slavery, though uh, it failed miserably as a commercial venture, it won a lot of critical acclaim. In today, times in India we have 3 million sex workers of which quite a few are children. If you take the crimes against women statistics you will see an alarming increase in the numbers year upon year. Sunita is of the opinion that forced prostitution, sex slavery, martial rapes and Sexual exploitation have always been a part of society, but thankfully now it is getting visibility and we are able to fight against these crimes in a better way. About her own incident of crime, she says, I do not remember the rape part of it as much as I remember the anger part of it and I used the anger to derive power out of it so that I can fight against society's attitude towards rape victims and trafficked women. She is of the opinion that we must stigmatize the rapists and their families. Rather than wondering about who the rape victim is, we should be concentrating on who is the rapist? Who are the family members? Who are the vac- What is their background? Where are they from? And we must shame them in society openly. She is also of the strong opinion that all pornography must be banned. Totally. And she also states with strong conviction that A society like ours should not be wasting time talking of legalizing prostitution. At multiple forums, Sunita Krishnan has identified the rape victims, HIV positive victims as well as which profession they are from. While her methods have been questioned, Nobody can deny the results which she has been able to achieve. 9,000 women saved from trafficking. Srinita Krishnan through Prajwala, which she co-founded, has worked in the area of vocational training, securing jobs and getting these trafficked women married off to ensure the rehabilitation of rape victims and trafficked women. When questioned about her methods by some people in society, she says, I am not here to please everyone. I have to make sure that the trafficked women are protected and rehabilitated. Sunita Krishnan and her organization Prajwala are making a difference to trafficked women and raped survivors. 
you have to realize that her journey from a rape victim to a savior of raped and trafficked women has not been free of obstacles it has been an uphill task especially in our conservative society where rape victims are like totally stigmatized isolated and socially ostracized rather than doing social boycott of the rapists and stigmatizing the rapists uh, unfortunately in our society is the victims who face this in addition to the physical and mental agony they already undergo it is women like sunita krishnan totally inspirational with grit determination that they are going against the grain of society and bringing about a change in our society they are bringing about progress they are overcoming the old methods of constant adversity of against women and bringing about a change in the thinking and customs of our conservative society it is important that we as men and women of this great country stand by women of grit such as sunita krishnan women of grit determination and vision who are taking a stand to bring about change in society and help them in their mission of correcting wherever there have been mistakes done as far as social and economic deprivation of raped and trafficked women in our society it is the courage of women like sunita krishnan which makes them stand tall um, among the contemporary women of india today she is all of 4 feet and 6 inches but she is among one of the tallest as far as her grit determination and vision goes in her endeavor to save and protect raped and trafficked women having achieved 9000 lives having made a difference to 9000 lives she is a woman worth admiring and respecting friends if you like the inspirational stories which i share with you on your channel generous gracious and gallant i request you once again to please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you'll get a notification on every new inspirational story which i release on your youtube channel generous gracious and gallant once again i repeat all of us cannot be sunita krishnan who can make a difference to 9000 lives but all of us can make a difference to one stand by and make a difference to one person in your society and see the ripples of kindness and its effect as it goes through and affects multiple lives all of us need to stand up and make a difference to one these are covid times till we meet again stay safe maintain social distancing wear masks at all times good luck all the best take care